what are what are some of the biggest influences over your writing? Wow. Well, um, I would say, uh, you, you know, I I love certain writers. I love writers with a warm voice. I've always loved C.S. Lewis's writing, mm -hmm. um, and I. Oh gosh, I love I love Pat Conroy's prose. I'm not a fan of his dialogue per se. I love his prose often. I love pretty much like almost as a rule every other book that John Irving writes mm -hmm. is you know it's it's usually it's kind of a fifty fifty thing with him. Yeah. Uh, but Prayer for Owen Meany is a book that I've all, always loved. Um, I. I I, there's another guy, and I don't know if he's been an influence, but I have to imagine that anything you read is going to influence you. And that's a fellow named Edward Rutherford, who writes historical fiction, which is something I never imagined I'd like. But he has books called London, and he's got a new one called Paris that I'm saving for a long flight I'm about to take. I haven't started that yet. Ruska. So he's, he's someone that I love reading. Uh, I actually... Uh, I don't know if I guess when you say guilty pleasure, it's kind of an insult. But I really enjoy reading John Grisham, and um, that's not any kind of insider family plug. That's just the facts. Uh, I, you know, I, I like reading about lawyers. I'm not sure why. Maybe because there's so many of them in the music business that should right. be shot first. You kill all lawyers. I think is the line from uh, some famous person. Um, who else? That's funny. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trying to think, you know, basically I just love a good story. I love Frederick Buechner. People seem to see, uh, I think a few folks think that they see a relationship between my writing and having read him. I'm certainly not trying to copy him, but I do, I love his way of, of putting a point across. And uh, anyone funny, you know, anybody who's got a sense of humor, I think... Uh, I already mentioned Anne Lamott. I enjoyed uh, Traveling Mercies of hers. Yeah. So that's probably that. I don't read. Uh, well, Richard Rohr is a guy. I even mentioned Richard in my book. He he's probably son. He's probably the only guy I read to maybe try to improve my lot in life and improve the lot of life of those who have to be with me. So Richard Rohr is pretty great. Right on. Yeah, everybody needs a good Catholic, you know. So. <laughs>